Dead Mall Parking Lot Carnival Eats. We have a fantastic Dead Mall Parking Lot Eats show for you today. I am Kelly Belly, Bo Belly, Banana Fana, Fo Felly, Fee Fi Fo, Nelly. Um, do, we, do, do we talk now? Kelly. I, I don't think we do yet. And we're standing in front of the River Meadows Mall. Wasn't this mall... Infested with ticks. And crawl dads. And crawl ticks. River Meadows South Mall used to be a pretty big deal in the 80s. Do we talk yet? Located in the park, in the parking lot, is Commander Rip's Traveling Fun Show. Now? We're exploring the unique and delectable foods here. I'd like to introduce my guests, husband and wife. And first cousin. And first cousin. Ratch and Burn, who would rather we not use their last names. Talk now. Hi, Hi Kelly. Kelly. Hmm. Some hobos with filthy backpacks told me you two are cooking up some... No, not math. No. no. Mm -mm. Cooking up some mighty special dishes. Will you please tell me about it? Sure thing. We take some Vienna sausages. And dump them on a paper towel. Mm -hmm. Then we take the potted meat gelatin and pour it over then the veiners. Then we form the potted meat into kind of a potted meat snowball. And stick the veiners in like they was turkey fingers. And then we fry up the whole thing, including the paper towel. Try it. Hmm. Let's get this guy to try it instead. Sir, what's your name? Diablo. Oh, 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 oh cool name. Ah, do you want some free food? Who said it was free? Sure, although my body is a temple and I'm very careful about what I put into it. Reminder, it's free. Yeah, all right. Describe what you're tasting right now. I taste paper towel first. Oh, dang it. It's kind of minty. You, sorry, did you use my uh, toothbrush paper towel? Okay. Toothbrush? Keep going. The potted meat kicks my epiglottis like a fornicating mule climaxing. And then there's the Vienna sausages encased in what I would describe as a slimy crust. It's like when I eat it, it expands in my mouth. Ah, oh, been there, done that. On a scale of one to three, Three. For how likely I'll be able to keep this down, one. But I'm still going to finish it. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Far Out Fiesta, episode 52. I'm cocking my head quizzically. I will be your host, Richard Houghton. Give it up for our cast, Cassidy Kennedy, what? doing her 40th show. Oh my god! Amazing. Holy Special God. guest star, seven-timer Cody Potcotter, <laughs> and four-timer Juliana Briscoe. Yo. Far out. Let's fiesta. The, the Life, Life Narrator's, Narrator's Garage, Garage Sale. sale. Uh, we're not open yet. This is me getting out of the driver's seat of my car because I was driving. And this is me getting out of the passenger side because I was a passenger. We don't open until nine. This is me ignoring them and forcing my way into their garage. I, I don't really know what to do. Should we call the cops? I'm picking up this picture frame with the ugly kid on it. Uh, th that, that's not for sale. And that's our son. This is me offering two bits for it. I'll give you two bits for it. Uh, wh what does that mean? It's a quarter. I'm holding up some of the woman's maternity clothes in front of me. I'm making my astonished face because you would look really, really fat in them. <gasps> hey there, Krista glowed when she was pregnant. This is me asking what this tiny, probably insignificant trophy is for. What's this trophy for? Make them leave, Kyle. It's not for sale, and I was on the winning softball team in my beer league. This is me rolling my eyes. <laughs> this is me repositioning myself so they can see me rolling my eyes. I'm asking you if you think maybe they have good stuff in the house. 
I am shaking my head no if this crap is any indication. You people are horrible. This is me motioning like I'm going to comfort her, but I'm not really. Ow! This is me taking his punch and getting up. Ow! This is me taking his next punch Yeah. and getting up. This is me taking a kick to the ribs. And this is me listening to your ribcage crackle. And this is me shoving you idiots out of my garage and locking it. I'm cocking my head quizzically. I'm, I'm wondering why you're doing that. I'm keeping my ears from bleeding out. <gasps> I'm helping you to the car to find an emergency clinic that's open. I'm losing consciousness as I spot another garage sale sign. I'm deciding you should sleep off your injury while I check out the other garage sale. Flossworms! Flossworms. Hello, I'm Kalakak. My name sounds like I might be a celebrity in this commercial, like, like it might be an interview. Please, calm. Please welcome my guest, Max Bastrop, the founder intern of Revolutionary Company. Uh, good to be with you, Kali Kak. Oh, you're never going to be lucky enough to be with me. You have a poodle mouth. Oh, you mean the show marshal. Oh, great to have you. Um, what is today's biggest health threat? And before you answer that, I'm going to gum disease. I was going to say bad Botox. And what's the hardest thing to do to prevent gum disease? That's right, flossing. I was going to say something about dental dams. Let's listen to an actual couple talk about how floss worms change their lives. Okay, I'm going to go do a bump of coke. <laughs> My gums used to bleed. Like the walls of a haunted house. Or a tiny oral slaughterhouse. The only time I would kiss him was on payday. And since I had to pay my girlfriend. Nuh uh. No GFA. And since I had to pay her, I couldn't afford a teeth doctor. I was about 10 seconds away from robbing his bitch ass rather than kissing him. And then I discovered floss worms. At a quarter of the price. Uh, she's not back yet. Uh, sorry, at a quarter of the price, conventional, safe, efficient dentistry floss worms. It's a very green solution to very green teeth. I didn't have enough money for animation, so I'm going to pretend to be Phil the floss worm. Knock yourself out. Okay. Oh! Um, I don't do characters. I think the worms crawl through your teeth and eat the plaque, whatevs. Commercial over. Captain, Captain Goodfellow, Goodfellow. Ball. ball. Hello, Captain Goodfellow. Uh, I'm I'm here too, Mabel. I'm paper message deliverer. Didn't give me a chance. I have a message for you. Me? No. I have it for Captain Goodfellow. Looks like an invitation to the mayor's ball. Maybe you could be his plus one. Maybe. You available, Mabel? Busy. Lupe Lou, would you do me the honor? Mm, save it. I know I'm your second choice. Third, actually. I'm not sure where Nelson is. Uh, meet me there at 7.30? You're not even going to pick me up? Or I could go by myself. Oh, yeah. 7.30 is good. Mm -hmm. Bring cash. I'm going to want drinks. <sighs> I thought they would never leave. I know, right? Rave while they're gone. Oh, the rave of all raves. Mollies, glow sticks, terrible industrial music. We're going to go through so many condoms and we may as well not use them at all. Uh, nice try. Um, it was a nice try. Have a good fellow morning. Didn't this used to be a kid show? Ask, Ask Chupacabra, Chupacabra about, about sex. sex. Good 3.45 a.m. And welcome to Ask Chupacabra About Sex. We're on in the middle of the night and no podcast advertisers will touch this show. Let's just say a certain station manager owes me a very big favor. Let's get right to our first question. How can I tell if I smell okay down there? Uh, let's just say I hope that's not you I'm smelling right now. Let's just assume it's not. But how can I tell? Uh, my engineer just confirmed that what I'm smelling are wet nacho cheese Doritos. Here's what you do. Touch yourself and sniff your finger. But whatever happens if I never stop touching myself. Uh, text me. And by the way, if you're doing it with a chupacabra, he'll usually say, Hey, gross, you stink down there. When you said that, I thought you were kidding. Cinnamon? 
Chupacabras do not kid about such things. Next question. My mouth gets dry when I give oral. What's a quick wait, fix? Wait, 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 wait. First of all, you're a dude, right? Yes. Uh, first of all, guys are in no way responsible for giving oral. Yeah, no spit. But if for some reason you must, like, you lose a bed or something, or you're the only male in an old chick prison, have water nearby to sip. Next question. Hi, Chupacabra. I'm Lindana. No small talk. What's your question? Where in my apartment should I have sex that I probably haven't tried before? Um, text me your address. Uh, we'll try all the places you have tried first. Make sure your downstairs is fragrant. Okay. Next question! I heard it's unsafe to do it on a trampoline. Why? Uh, the string springs are pinchy. Also, seat drops can misalign a woman's spine. Next question! Are there any aphrodisiacs that actually work? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the guy who thought it was okay for guys to give oral? Yes. <laughs> oh, you don't need an aphrodisiac. You need a lobotomy. Last question. Where, what is a good way to stimulate his nipples? Um, I hate to answer your question with a question, but what makes you think a chupacabra's nipples aren't perpetually stimulated? <laughs> Thank you all for being here today. Where's Mary Ellen? She's at an addiction addicts meeting. And who are you? Sharla. Welcome. Oh, welcome. Uh, th thank you. I think I'm in the wrong room. How long have you been a hickholic? I'm not sure I am. I'm not really sure that's a thing. You are, and it is. Uh, yeah, I was just like you. Uh, a woman who didn't believe in mumbo-jumbo addictions? In denial. Why don't you share your experience, Lucky? Well, I started out, like, um, fearing the hiccups and hating the hiccups. Nobody wants to lose control. No, it wasn't that. Sometimes it made me snot or pee a little. Which is losing control. And then it got to the point where I started hiccuping before work and on my lunch break. I used to love lunch hiccups, mm -hmm. bruh. Especially on $5 tuna day. Oh, pretty soon, I couldn't enjoy anything with hiccuping. Not even sex. Oh, sex hiccuping is the best. Mm -hmm. It's such a pure syncopated connection. Mm -hmm. But I digress. Go on, Lucky. Then, hiccuping cost me my job. What did you do? Circus surgeon. My operating room was a cage of death. And one day, I said, That's enough! Then I said, Oh crap! I crashed my motorcycle and my patient died! Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Thank Lucky, that was very brave of you. Why didn't you say, That's enough! After you botched a Stiltwalker's appendectomy? Sorry to interrupt, but I was looking for defensive driving. <sighs> Down the hole. But that hiccup sex sounds wicked. Laters! Incompetent Uber, Uber driver. Thanks for meeting me for lunch. My pleasure. It's gonna be. Pardon? When I invited you to join me for a picnic, what I meant was bleacher sex accompanied by the thrill of being discovered. Right on. Later that day. Hey sis, what's up? Would you mind puppy sitting for a few hours? It would really help me out. I'll pay you $4,000. Right on. Is Cash okay? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's his name? Tiberius. I'll be back by three. Right on. You're such a great looking dog, Tiberius. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You, you can talk? I speak a little human English. <laughs> right on. But, but I only do it. <laughs> If it makes you a fortune. <laughs> Ding <st> dong. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, you're excused. <laughs> it's so cool of you to deliver this mail in person. Hey, no prob. You seem like a great dude. Here's some, you're my favorite customer fudge to get with your mail. Right on. Dear Uber driver, tales of your incompetence do not interest me. Oh, give me that damn fudge butt ass hat, butt face ass hat. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm taking a vow of silence. Aww. I'm back to get Tiberius. And you here, you take a cat in his place. You owe me 11 thou. Ow! The cat scratched off my eyelids. While we were having sex, I put on one of those Burrowing, burrowing creatures from the uh, Amazon interior urethra. I was wondering why peeing made me wail. Mm, I'll see you in court. Oh, okay. Uh, wait a minute. This letter is for 104 Harper Road, not 109. Name, Name that, that porn. porn. Good morning. I'm Deep Wendy, and this is Name That Porn. I don't know why I emphasize the word this so much. Tonight we have some stiff competition. Welcome, Daphne Bax. Hola. Bob Throb. Hello. And Keith Smith. Uh, Hello, Keith Smith. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> As everyone knows, on God's green earth, you know the rules of name that porn, and they're simple rules. Our contestants name the porno I'm playing on my phone in as few seconds as possible. Daphne, since you're our returning champion, give me a porn kiss. <laughs> Wendy, I can name that porn in five seconds. All right. Bob, a quick nipple play. I can name that porn in four seconds. And Keith, firm handshake. I can name that porn in three seconds. Keith, name that porn. Step into my office, applicant, or should I say, analicant? Uh, is it a vagina tar? Oh, no. Oh. I'm sorry. Is Dad. it Mission Penis Possible? No, sorry. Bob, for the steal. Is it... Winnie the poop shoot. <gasps> Congratulations, Bob. You win our first round in six minutes of vigorous slow-mo humping in a position where human genitalia couldn't possibly intersect. Ah, Cinemax porn. Uh, could I have door number two? Hair fourth. You're bald. Uh, that's true, but my personality... Um, and you have twisty ear hair. Yes, but I hope my kindness mixed up. And your eyebrows look like infected rat tails. Look, oh. I mean, we all have our little quirks. And your arms are that hairy, and your back must be like a steel wool shag rug. Well, I, I train you to wear short sleeves. Seeing you naked must be worse than having the phone passed to you to talk to some aunt you barely know. By Satan? <laughs> Or waking up with a python around your neck and rattlesnake suspended from above you. With your face covered in skinless but still alive bunnies. Or finding a newborn in your stool. With horns and hooves. Mm. Have you had enough? Yes! What if I told you I had a way to remove all that unwanted body hair? I I is it safe? Hairforth, the first fireworks-based hair removal system. Oh, that's a terrible name. And you didn't answer my safety question. Using technology as old as the Orient, That's big. we celebrate off that body hair with a host of vibrant colors. Uh, that sounds really dangerous. Shall I bring the ladies back? No, 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 I'm in. Gosh, baby, that newborn mole looks so sexy. To me, he looks like a sexy seconds old gerbil. Both rodents. Ooh, or a swimmer. <laughs> oh, an Asian guy. Um, great. Can I call you? Hair forth! Extreme hair removal! Phones are against my religion, so, you know, how that goes, huh? Mm. I'm finding a complete stranger and marrying them tomorrow. And my hypothetical husband is very jealous. Oh. And strong. Crap! Practical, Practical Kung, Kung Fu! Fu. Ulcer! Ow! That hurts so bad! Uh, the hole in your heart because your mommy loved me more than you? Ow, no. You're wearing shoes and underpants seven sizes too small? Ow, no. Your fire ant sideburns? No. The searing pain in my tummy. Um, super masculine chaps like us don't say tummy. Tum tum. <laughs> okay, to come over and do an ulcer check. Kung Fu Lewis. Kung Fu Bud. Hi, I'm here. Where's the fistfuls of free weed? Lewis, did you lie to me? 
Sorry. Uh, ben has a pain in his stomach. I want you to do an ulcer check. Yeah, because I'm a nurse. Uh, because you're the only dame willing to touch Bud. That's true. All right, Bud. A therapeutic punch to the gut. Bam! Should do the trick. <laughs> What the hell, man? Ooh, ulcer. I'll call my Aunt Marigold, the non-surgical healer. Mm, that's her. She's psychic. Let's get psychical, psychical. I want to get psychical. Let's get into psychical. I'm sensing a stomach pain and a big gulp of wine. Oh, I finished the wine. Oh, damn it. But I'm going to put my mouth directly onto your stomach. Cool. And suck the... Uh, I like where this is going. Also out. Oh. More action than you've seen in years. You're right. You're right. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's out. Let's go get some more wine. Oh, you read my mind. Has your stomach, bud? Hurts. But a woman sucked it. Kung Fu, bud. Kung Fu Lewis. Snuggle Town Deli. Food. food. What happened to all the food in my What happened to all the food in your deli? I'm not sure. <laughs> Me either. Oh, Rita, you know what happened to all the food in Snuggle Town? Hmm. You mean before or after I broke into your deli and removed all of the food, then hoarded it, then told some very shifty Euro gangsters that I was hoarding food and to stay away from my nest? Rita! Oh, don't get all sanctimonious, Epi! Ha ha! Maybe I'll be. Maybe you're gonna get help us find some food. <laughs> oh, maybe, but we'll also have to hear about how effing difficult it is for him to live on land. Skinny. Hello, Rita. Hello, Epi. Dear Lord, it's hard to breathe. Fish were not meant to live on land, you know. Told you. Do you know where we can find something to eat? We're very hungry. I haven't had a worm in days. My bee mouth hasn't had a dab of gummy in. Save your breath. Here he goes again. Like when I have to conserve mine, and when I'm on land, I, and I, I'm protest fasting. So even if I could find food for you, I wouldn't. Jerk. What are you processing? My carrier keeps raising my data rates. Oh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation since nobody ever invites me to anything anymore. So happy. We were just about to call you. Well, I found a new plant on the outskirts of town that seems to be crawling with worms. Seems to be? Don't you toy with me, Hoppy! Let's go. There it is! Have you tried it? Oh no, not yet. What makes you think it's food? A uh, rudimentary nervous system. Oh. Okay, everybody but Kenny, take a bite on threes, ones, twos, threes. Tastes great! Holy F! Holy F on purple! It does taste holy F. Purple. Uh, it didn't take my bite yet. Bite it, it ever, ever, ever. Purple. Well, I guess being purple beats being dead. What a morbid ending. Let's paint Kenny purple. Hooray! Hooray! That's right. We end on painting Kenny purple. Farrell <laughs> 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 Fiesta <laughs> episode. 52. I'm cocking my head quizzically. I have been your host, Richard Houghton. Please give it up for our amazing cast, Cassidy Kennedy, and our special guest stars, Juliana Briscoe and Cody Potcutter. Has anybody got anything cool going on coming up? Thanks for having us, man. Thanks, Thanks for, for being here. Me. I'm having a blast. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Cassidy? Yes. Oh my gosh, 40 episodes. 40. So 40. 40. That's not crazy. 40. That's eight. It's insane. I know. Holy Smexy. crap. Holy. 
Um, and I do want to say that I am representing an organization now, um, Hope's Door. I have been volunteering with them. It is a, an organization that helps to protect people who are fleeing domestic violence violence um mm -hmm. so if you know anyone and chances are even if you're not aware of it you do know someone who is has has been or currently is a victim of domestic violence if you think even for a moment that them a child that you meet anything like that might need this type of help please let them know about hope store mm -hmm. google hope it store. whatever it is you need to do hope store um and definitely take a look uh into some of the charitable causes around you it takes zero time to tap into that stuff and it feels pretty amazing too so let's donate some time guys Rock and, roll. and i'd like to plug some crap please <laughs> uh you can this this right here is the only place that you can see far out fiesta live as it happens uh other places you can see video versions of it more and more places you're getting to see some of the old shows you can see us now on itunes shows one through six three through nine are coming soon on google play which we are explicit thank you very much yeah. on right. google play Adult um, that's right we're on podbean we will shortly be um well, I won't tell you that. I'll tell you that the next time. Oh, also, um, Yoga Garage, there's some stuff going on uh, with Yoga Garage that I don't really want to talk about yet, but it's interesting stuff. Good thing. Um, also, in the not too super distant future, um, I will be teaching some uh, comedy writing classes and just uh, the other class is called a comedy sampler plate. Jeff Enter, a friend of the show, and his wife are opening a studio. Cassidy mm -hmm. is familiar with the studio as well. I believe you'll be doing some stuff with them too. Uh, that will probably start somewhere in the September time frame. I don't know when the exact classes will start, but I'll certainly tell you. Uh, if you want to get all my knowledge, we'll take about 45 seconds and then sit through the rest of the six weeks class. Come on down. I will also be um, teaching classes for them, but we're going to be doing yoga classes. So um, I teach anything from children to elderly people, from beginners to those people who have double digit years under their belt. And if you're also interested in becoming a yoga instructor, instructor, please come and say hi too. We have mommy and me classes, core classes, joint readying classes for um, cyclists, marathoners, or um, if you're a cyclist, I also offer a class to up your O2 intake as well. So, Cassidy Kennedy, come see me. Yeah, I prefer blood doping. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. Anybody else? All right. Thanks. Bye, you guys. See you next time. What up?